Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Magento 2. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking out the advanced pricing for the products and we'll be seeing how we can apply the advanced pricing to the products within the Magento 2 default system itself. So we'll be checking out the group pricing, tier pricing and the special pricing there for the product itself. Apart from that, we'll also be seeing the minimum advertised pricing as well. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So let's hop on to the storefront now and let's see the workflow of the advanced pricing there after. So right now I'm on the storefront as you can see and I'm on one of the products that's the red t-shirt. So what I'll be doing is I'll be going to the admin backend panel and we'll be checking out the advanced pricing for this particular product and we'll be applying the special price, group price and tier pricing to this particular product and then we'll see the results on the front end as well how the applied uh, advanced pricing appears to the customers on the product page itself. So uh, here you can see that right now the price of the product is $123. Now let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let me log into the admin backend panel by entering the username, password and tapping on the sign in button thereafter. Now after I've signed into the admin backend panel, what I'll be doing is I'll be navigating through catalog and products and I'll be opening the product in the edit mode. That's the red t-shirt. So here uh, I'll just go ahead and here I've already filtered the red keyword. And here let me scroll down to the red t-shirt and let me open the red t-shirt. Now the advanced pricing can be applied to the product in the product edit mode. So we'll edit the product. And after editing this up, what I'll do is I'll just navigate here to the particular section that says price. So here you can see that the price or the base price of the product is $123. The same is visible here, $123. Now here we have the advanced pricing option that you can see this link. So I'll just tap on this advanced pricing link that we have and that will bring up the advanced pricing as you can see. So here we can set up the special price, customer group price and tier price. The customer group price and the tier price can be set up in the same place and we can also set up the minimum advertised price as well. So if you are for the uh, minimum advertised price, if you are providing the product less than the minimum advertised price, then that original price would not be visible directly in its place. The minimum advertised price would be visible and would be uh, crossed out. And accordingly to the, uh, depending upon the configuration, the customer can view the original price by tapping on the click to price by adding the product to the cart or at the time of checkout there. So let's first of all see how we can apply the special price to this particular uh, product that's the red t-shirt. So I'll set the uh, special price here. For example, let's set the special price as $100. And then what we need to do is the special price from and to values have to be set up. So the special price would be applicable on the product between these two dates. So I've selected the dates already. You can tap on the calendar there and you can select the particular from and the two dates values there. And after setting this up, you can tap here on the done button and tap on the save button thereafter. Now we are checking out the special price right now. So we have given a price range between which the particular product would be having a special price that's $400 there. So now if I refresh this particular product, as you can see, now we can see that the product is $400 between the time range or the date range that we have given. And here we can also see that the regular price is $123 for this particular product. So initially it was for $123, now it's for $100 there in the special price there. So this was about the special price that we have applied on the product. Now let's come back to the advanced pricing and let's tap here on the advanced pricing once again. Now let me remove this special price. Now let's see how we can apply the, uh, also can you note uh, that uh, the special price is for a specific time period and the special price appears in stead of the regular price followed by the regular price itself and it can be applied to simple products and to the variations of a configurable product as well. Now let's check out the grouped uh, pricing. So for the group pricing, we'll come down to this section. That's the customer group price. And here we'll tap on the add button. 
Now here we have to choose the website to which this uh, customer group pricing would be applicable to and here we can define the customer groups to which the uh, group pricing that we are going to create would be applicable to. So for this example I'll be choosing not logged in customers because we are not logged in so here you can see that we have the sign in option. So for now I'll choose it as for uh, the customer group would be not logged in and uh, here we'll be setting up the quantity as one and the fixed amount would be set as for example, let's set it as $120 there. After setting it as $120, I'll tap here on the done button and I'll tap here on the save button thereafter. So this is the group pricing in which we can uh, give a uh, discounted price for a product there according to the groups that we have chosen. For those groups, the product would be on a discounted price, but the quantity would be set to as one itself. So here you can see that the price, actual price was 123. Right now we are providing it on a group pricing uh, platform there. Now let's refresh this up. So now you can see that the group pricing is available right now and the product is for $120 and the regular price of the product was $123. So if I sign into my uh, customer account here and I try to with this particular uh, pricing, then I'll be able to see the base price of the product itself because the group pricing has been set up for the not logged in customers only. So if I show you once again, here we had set up for not logged in one quantity, the price is fixed and $120. We can add multiple groups as well. For example, we'll set it as all groups or uh, the gender ones and the quantity is one, the price is fixed and the amount would be for example, $100. $10. So whenever a, a registered customer logs into his account and comes to the red t-shirt product, he'll be able to see the product for $110 that was initially for $123 there. So this was about the group pricing there. Now let me delete it out. Let me set it as done and let's save this particular product. And after I've saved the product, let me refresh the product once again. So let me refresh the product once again. So you can see that, that again the base price of the product is or the original price of the product is visible there. That's $123 there. Now let's see how we can set up the tier pricing. In tier pricing we can provide uh, or we can set the quantity based discount on a particular product. So quantity wise discount can be provided on a product. So for example let's go back to the advanced pricing and let's go to the customer group price section and let's tap here on the add button. Let's choose the website for which the uh, particular tier pricing would be applicable to. Let's choose the customer group for which the tier pricing would be applicable. Let's set the quantity. For example, if you are purchasing two, we are setting it for uh, a discount of 10%. Let's add it up. Let's set for not logged in customers. If you are going with three quantity, then we'll be giving a discount of, uh, for example, 20% there, right? So we are giving a quantity based discount there for the same product. So we are giving the, we are changing the pricing there according to the quantity that you're going to purchase there for the product itself. Now after this, this is the tier pricing that we are looking at right now. And let's tap here on the done button and let's tap here on the save button thereafter. Now let's see how this tier pricing appears on the front end. Now the special pricing and the group pricing appear in the same manner as we have seen. But this one appears a bit different. So let me refresh the page. So now you can see that the actual base price of the product is $123. And here you can see that 10% discount and 20% discount is visible that we had created a while ago here under the advanced pricing discount giving for 10%, 20%. It can be also of fixed uh, type there. So for now we are giving it in the percentage value there. So the quantity is two for two. We are getting a 10% discount for three quantity of this same product. We're getting a 20% discount. So here you can see that buy two for $110.70 and save 10%. Buy three for $98.40 and save $20 there. Now here the quantity is one. If I make it as two, you can see that the price would change to $110.70. Now I make the quantity as three. It would be set up as 98.40 per product there as you can see itself. Now if I'm going to add this product into the cart there, the same pricing would be visible in the cart as well. So here I've added the product in the cart. Per product we are getting it at $98.40. That's 20% discount. 
and the total for three uh, would be 295.20 dollars there the same goes uh, with the other one as well let me remove this from the count there uh, for example if i'm going with two uh, let me go with two units and let me tap here on the add to cart button the particular product would be added into the cart there so it's uh, just uh, taking some time there so here we have quantity as two per product price would be one ten dollars point seven zero cents there and the total would be two twenty one dollars and forty cents itself so this was the tape pricing that i showed you and before this we saw the growth pricing in which we create uh, the uh, customer growth price but the quantity is set to one and then we can set up the price as fixed or discounted amount as per the requirement there right and i showed you the special price as well how we can set up the special price and set up the special price from and to values there now coming to the minimum advertised price here right uh, so basically uh, if you are providing the product less than the minimum advertised price then that original price would not be visible directly and in its place the minimum price or the minimum advertised price would be visible and would be uh, crossed out and accordingly according to the configuration that has been set up by the admin here for the display actual price as on gesture in cart or before confirmation uh, accordingly the customer would be able to give the actual price of the product on gesture in cart or before the order confirmation there so let me show you that as well so what i'll be doing is i'll be setting up the minimum advertised price as 120 dollars here and i'll be saving this particular thing and i'll tap here on the save button for the advanced pricing thereafter so right now you can see that we are able to see the pricing here as 110.70 cents and 98.40 now these two pricings are much less than the minimum advertised price so after we have set up the minimum advertised price as 120 dollars there now this particular price would not be visible on the front end if i refresh the page here so let me re refresh the page here so here you can see that now we have buy two four click for price buy three four click for price now if i tap here for click for price for buy for two here you can see that the uh, actual price is being uh, cut out and we have the actual price as 110 dollars and as our price is lower than the manufacturer's minimum advertised price as a result we cannot show you the price in the catalog or on the product page right so as you can see so that's why the price is not being displayed here on the catalog page itself or on the product page the same goes fit for the second one as well so for for the second one as well if i tap here on the click for price then i'll be able to see the 98.40 dollars and uh, the add to cart button thereafter so here i can show you the same if i go to the advanced pricing here we had set uh, the discount as 10 percent and 20 percent and uh, the minimum advertised price was set as 120 dollars now if i remove the map and i save this particular product once again and then if i refresh the particular product page of the red t-shirt on the front end uh, here then we'll be able to see the price that is much lower than the map that was 110.70 and 98.40 dollars there so yes that was much about uh, how to apply the advanced pricing to a product in the magento 2 and i hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding how we can apply the uh, group price special price and the trade price and about the minimum advertised pricing as well if you still have any questions queries sessions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you can raise a ticket at webpool.uvds.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead